In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a slightly altered version of Simplicity's 8441, since lockdown is still happening and supplies are a little bit limited. The standard seam allowance is 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter for the entire project. Cut out all your fabric. Make sure that the fur or pile is in the down direction for the pattern pieces, except for the ears and tail. I'm using a scrap piece of fleece for the face, ear insides, and the base. Instead of sewing or appliquing the eyes onto the face, I'm going to use two safety eyes. I've reinforced the area with some scrap fusible interfacing. Then I marked where I want the eyes to be. And then poked a hole through the fabric with my awl. Force the safety eyes through. and squeeze the backing onto it. Once the backing is on, it is very, very hard to remove. Sew the dart on the face. I'm omitting the mouth and nose applique and instead just hand stitching them onto the main face piece itself. I don't have another suitable scrap for that bit. Take the front of the body piece. Snip your alignment markers and sew the face onto one of the ends. Next, make the ears. Right sides together. Snip the corners and flip. Here, I'm using my awl to free up the fur that got stuck in the seam. Match up large circles on both ears and face and pin the ears into place. Sew them on. Once that's done, put it aside for now. Next, take the body back piece and snip your alignment markers. I took a pin to mark where the dart starts in the head. Sew it. Next, take the body front and snip those little triangles. Place the two body pieces with right sides together. Sew the back and top curve until you hit the large circle at the head. Leave the tail dart unsewn. Free up the fur around the seams. Make the tail. 
two right sides together and sew. Flip. Fluff. Take the tail and stick the wrong end through so that all the raw edges match up. Sew it. Be very careful at this point as it is very thick and you could easily end up with broken needles. Hand crank your machine if you need to. I certainly did. Take the neck and face part and begin pinning that to the body, matching up at the alignment markers. Once pinned, sew around, being careful where you get to the ears, as it is also very thick there. Fluffing the fur. Having the head practically flipped, I kept the right side out inside the body to make flipping it easier later. Next, get your bottom piece. Pin it into place, matching up the alignment markers. Sew around the curved size and the point, leaving the straight side open for flipping and stuffing. Once that's sewn, flip and make sure all the seams are fairly pulled out. This is something I've been working on over many months. I have personally shredded any fabric that was too small to be of any use and made it into homemade stuffing. Since the Emerald Cube present used up most of my stuffing last month, I intend to use this instead. I used a canning funnel to help guide the scraps into the hole. Made it a lot less messy than it would have been. Once it's stuffed to capacity, hand sew the hole closed with whatever stitch you want. The pattern calls for a ladder stitch. I'm missing the front bangs as it's not something I have in stock. The last piece is for the blanket for its back. I used some scrap coating fabric and made a small quilt blanket for him. Have fun making your llamas!